cuts it down the field towards Sean Conway. And Sean Conway gets in his hand. Into he's still going through. Michael Barrett, a great save, catches in his hand, driving it out the field, out towards Dermot Gannon. Brian Hagerty gets it. Into Barry Maloney. Barry Maloney gets it out the field. Oh, into. Brian, over the bar. Over the bar. Point there by. Jamie and Power, the captain. Nineteen minutes gone, almost twenty. Gone, and the Kilimanjaro lead now by just three points to two. The wind is blowing us way up here on the top of the stand at Cusick Park. A fine, fresh wind blowing in from the hills of Kilimanjaro in here to the town. Michael Barrett back behind his own goal. Poking this one down the field. He's dropping into the half back turn ladder, half back turn. Scrappy Holden going on there. Balls in the ground. It's a free to turn Lara. Donald Cahar, I'm sure, picked that one off the ground. Barry Maloney, centre half back for Clan Lara to take this one. He takes it into the wind. It's a dangerous looking ball dropping in. Coming out here. Oh, a foul on Sean Conway. He's down injured there. Sean Conway is down injured again, right in front of the Kildamona goal. Um, referee Jer High having a Conference there with Eugene Cummins. The injury isn't life threatening, so it's for back on his feet. That was taken by Damien Power. It's taken by Tomaso Donovan, sorry. Tomaso Donovan took that and drove it over the bar. Michael Barrett from his own goal. And much, much better puck out now. Right, Fergal Hayter gets his gun right into the goal. John Rin going across the field. It's cleared out here to this side of the field. A third man tackle there on Dermot Gannon. A third man tackle there by Paul Collins. So Dermot taking this one 10 yards in from this sideline here a good bit to the right the goal and our right but he doesn't oh he drives it to the, he drives it to the left and drives it wide unfortunate there for Dermot he went to the left and went wide but as I say again it's an awful day for free taking an awful day you'd nearly want to be dead straight in front of the goals for a lot of these frees Cheryl O'Connor player number two goalkeeper drives this ball up the field uh, David Hegarty comes and gathers it. Well inside the Clan Lara half. He's soloing right through. He's gone right through into his brother David. Free out for Clan Lara from inside their own 21 yard line. I don't know, there was some clip off the ball there from one of the Kilnamona boys in the Clan Lara, 20, inside the Clan Lara 21 yards line, so it's a free out for Gerald Cannon. Gerald Cannon is coming to take this free. He takes it, he drives it up the field. Again, David Hagerty in the middle of the action. Eugene Cummins pulls him up. Over between Cahill Griffin and Alan O'Connell. Alan O'Connell gets the better of this one, drives it in. Gone to the right and it's gone wide. 
well covered there by Mike Hagerty, who seems to have hurt himself a little bit in the he's up, he's okay. But it's a free out actually for Kendamona. Michael Hegarty being fouled. Michael Barris standing back from this one. Strikes good ball down the field towards Cahill Lafferty. Cahill gets it and drives it. Lovely inside there. Scores level. This is a chance for Kilnamona to go ahead. Sean Barry going out to take this one. Shawnee is going out to take this one on the far side of the field. Shawnee strikes it. Again, it comes out. Out to Fergal. Fergal. Back to Shawnee. Into Ger O'Connell's hand. Ger clears it out the field. Moss are done even a little displeased with that decision, but Ger High had no doubt about it that he picked that ball straight off the ground. There's grass under his nails from it, he went so low for it. So it's an opportunity this time for Dermot Gannon, and I'm sure Dermot will point this one. I have the confidence in him now that he'll point this one. He just takes it. Yes, 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 no mistake about this one. Gone straight over the bar. Nice point there from Dermot Gannon. Can the Mona boys go one point ahead? But as I say, as I say, can the Mona could suffer a lot for a lot of the chances they have missed here in the first half. Down the field. Uh, Damien Power. Damien Power. He turned three or four times with that ball. He was on a merry-go-round with it. Dermot Gannon is coming to take it. 26 minutes gone, only four minutes away from the break now, and Kilimona just lead by a point. They really need a score here now. What, what a goal would do for them right now. If Fergal Hegarty has gone in full forward, Shawnee Barry has gone to the centre. But this is falling into Shawnee, and Shawnee catches it. Shawnee catches it. Conference going on there between Shawnee and Fergal and Dermot Gannon is coming up to take this one. Dead straight in front of the goal. I'm sure Dermot will strike it over the bar. He's just standing over this one. Dermot bends and he lifts and he strikes it straight over the bar. Put Kinnamona two points ahead with three minutes left in this first half. A first half. Of some good moves by Kilnamona, but their finishing was not left a lot to be desired. Now, Ger O'Connell going back from this one. Ger O'Connell drives this one way up the field, into the wind. It falls straight down then. Eugene Cummins goes up, get, it falls to Carl Lafferty. Into Eugene Cummins again. Eugene, John Wren. It's, it's there by Eddie Dillon. Eddie Dillon clears it out the field. But Brian Hegarty goes over for it. Brian Hegarty still. Brian Hegarty, Joey Lynch's hoop there. Joey Lynch, Brian Hegarty. Dermot Gannon going back out to take this one again. Just two and a half minutes, two minutes left in this first half. It's a throw in, throw in. Brian Hegarty retaliated there. Donald Cahill has the ball. Donald Cahill. Don't push in the back there and Donald Cahar. 